Ten years ago, I was a 13-year-old girl with self-destructive thoughts swarming in her head. When I was looking for hope, I found a second life through the love and compassion of my dogs who understood me without any words. I found happiness and strength in the relationships I built with cows, rabbits, forests and rivers and I promised that when I grew up, I would stand up for them to my last breath. Today, I stand here as a climate activist advocating for the deep connection we have with all the beings in our world. Dabovatika Miss Nepal 2023 Pharmacy Face of the Year is Contestant Number 17, Triksha Pradhan. Shreecha, contestant number 17, our fifth semi-finalist, has happily picked Mr. Purnaman Shakya. Hello. Okay, uh, Shreecha, right? Yes, that's correct. Shreecha. Did you go for voting in the last general election? I did, I did, and okay. I was really excited about okay. it. My question to you is then, in the last general election and local election, the voters of Nepal seem to favor leaders emerging from new generation. How do you assess this new trend? Nepali ma bande ho bani, hal saalay bhaye ka nirvachan haru ma madhata le naya pustaka umme dwar haru lai ruchay ko dekhin cha. Yes baare tabai ko banai ke cha. Youth. Youth carry a lot of zeal, enthusiasm. Being a youth myself, I want to see voices like mine being not only represented, but I want to see them participating in leadership positions. Issues like climate change, exclusion, is very important to us. And you can see that our generation is actively forging in that direction of solving it. And I see that the power really lies in voices like ours because if entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs, if young doctors and young enthusiastic students like ours come up to our country, make decisions, we are going to secure the future of not just you and I, but the coming generation. And I feel like we have a unique perspective and that needs to be heard in all the uh, all the political positions and leadership posi positions. And so I would say that we need participation and not only representation. Thank you. Thank you, Sreecha. Well, the final contestant making her way into top five is contestant number 17, Sreecha Pratan. All right, this is it. The last round, the last battle. Moments from now, we shall have our Miss Nepal International, Miss Nepal, our last finalist. My heart beats to strengthen our path of building a just world for you and I and equally for the diverse beings in nature. I breathe for climate action that comes from compassionate communities and for nourishing our multi-species world. With the nerves creeping in, the final topic for tonight is women entrepreneurship. Thank you. Entrepreneurship is a very close topic to me. In 2019, I established a project called Digo Pranali, where I interviewed young women, young men, entrepreneurs that want to do something for our country. And today I feel glad to talk about this topic because Nepal, Nepal's secret to a flourishing economy and society is entrepreneurship. Add women on top of it. We've got a country 
that values compassion, that values emotions, that values all the other minority groups, all the other species that we share this world with. Mother Earth, the word mother has Time women. Is up, so that's women entrepreneurship. Thank you and have a great evening. All right, uh, all rounds completed. And the winner of Miss Nepal World 2023 is Srita Pradhan. Please welcome Mr. HSBD Business Head Dabo Nepal for the SASH presentation. Mr. Abhay Prasad Gorkhali, Head of Marketing Dabo Nepal for the bouquet presentation. Miss World, now you possess the immense power to influence the minds of young and the mature. How do you plan to utilize this power that you have, Sri Cha, uh, Miss Nepal World 2023? With every step that I took on this stage today, where birds, where endangered species walking as well, I took this journey up on my shoulder to preserve nature and because I believed in the very compassion that you all have in your hearts, I am here to redefine what world means and to include all the biodiverse species that we have and the compassionate soul that we have. Thank you. Well, there we have it. Tonight, we celebrate the spirit of Nepal and the incredible women who have graced this stage. As we bid farewell to this incredible chapter, Let's not forget that beauty does not lie in appearances, but in the minds and the heart. Until we meet again, stay beautiful Nepal and good night. <laughs>